Welcome back in on the YouTube channel. I am thrilled about today's episode on Kyrie Irving. It's been floating around the news over the last 24, 48, 72 hours, and I'm here to talk about it. Where is Kyrie gonna be come October? Is he still gonna be with the Cavs? Is he gonna be in Miami, New York, Minnesota, Phoenix, OKC, people are throwing around, the LA Clippers, some others are throwing around. I'm here to talk about it. This is gonna be a hell of a lot of fun. So without any further ado, let's dive into it. Let's go. Back to the Now, before we even get into those four NBA teams, let me mention this, two things, really. First, a ton of other teams have been in the rumor mills, been mentioned by media outlets, so on and so forth. The Phoenix Suns, the LA Clippers, just to name two. There are a lot of teams. But primarily in, in this episode, we're going to be talking about five teams. Those teams are the four that Kyrie listed and the Phoenix Suns for reasons that I'll explain in a bit. But let me mention this as well. It's not a guarantee. It's not a guarantee that Kyrie Irving gets traded. If you might remember, Kobe Bryant requested to be traded, okay? But he, he didn't end up getting traded, obviously. Uh, and he ended up winning two additional championships after that. So it's not a guarantee that someone requesting to get traded is traded. Cleveland Cavaliers are not going to give him up for a box of cookies, okay? They're not going to give him up for nothing. They're going to need something in return if they're trading away Kyrie Irving, who still has two years left on his contract. That's what I'll say. Now, on to these four teams. Let's start off with the Miami Heat. What could the Miami Heat offer for Kyrie Irving? They could offer Goran Dragic. They could offer future draft picks. But beyond that, there isn't that much to offer. They're not going to offer Justice Winslow, and they're not going to offer Hassan Whiteside. And they just signed Dion Waiters. He's all, he's not going to be traded. So what what do they have? <laughs> That's about it. But it's not nothing. Goran Dragic, obviously, very capable point guard. And draft picks, which hold a lot of value. Which is the truth. Um, so that's interesting. Not super interesting, but, but interesting. And obviously Kyrie Irving did mention them as one of the four teams, that's why I mentioned that. The San Antonio Spurs, they could offer Tony Parker, also a very capable point guard, which the Cleveland Cavaliers, if trading away Kyrie Irving, would be very desperately in need of. It would either be Darren Williams or Jose Calderon at the starting point guard position if they didn't acquire a point guard in return. So Tony Parker, youngsters, and draft picks. The San Antonio Spurs could offer that, and they'd still be in incredible shape with Kawhi Leonard, Rudy Gay, Pelasol, Aldridge. It sounded like a super team, and you had Kyrie Irving in that. Oh yeah, let's get on. Um, I'm a Knicks fan, by the way. We'll talk about the Knicks in a moment. I really hope something happens. We just point out that biasness. But here, we'll go into the New York Knicks right now. The New York Knicks, what could they offer? Carmelo Anthony, they could offer an all-star. They're the only team out of, out of these four teams that could offer an all-star in return for Kyrie Irving. Now, it's an aged all-star. It's Carmelo Anthony. It's not, it's no youngster Kyrie Irving getting in return. It's no Andrew Wiggins, Carl Anthony Towns, Jimmy Butler, Paul George You're getting in return. It's Carmelo Anthony. Still a lot of talent could very easily become scoring title, win another scoring title, best scorer in the league. Could very easily be that if he's able to stay healthy for an entire season and he has the right pieces around him. Not necessarily if LeBron James is taking away those opportunities, but you get the point. He's very capable, is the point. Um, so, Carmelo Anthony. It could be that Carmelo Anthony, Frank Nitlinka possibly, and future draft picks uh, get dealt to Cleveland in exchange for Kyrie Irving, maybe another smaller piece as well. But there was also this one thing, and I'll, I'll mention this right now. There was a three-team deal to, that was thrown up, which I found particularly interesting, and this is where the Phoenix Suns come into play. It was mentioned as a three-team deal by the Schultz Report, well-respected media outlet, well-respected news report. In this three-team deal, the Phoenix Suns, let's start with them, would receive Kevin Love and Frank Nitlinka. This would be a massive, massive trade. You can get an idea of where I'm going with this. The New York Knicks would receive Kyrie Irving and Tyson Chandler. Tyson Chandler the play with the New York Knicks previously, Defensive Player of the Year, NBA Chip with the Dallas Mavericks, so on and so forth. And Cleveland receive Carmelo Anthony and Eric Bledsoe. So they get that point guard they want, but they'd also get the all-star. So even more incentive to actually let Kyrie Irving go, really. So that's it. Now, the last team in the midst of the Timberwolves, they can't trade Jeff Teague until December, so I, I'm just to tossing them out of the entire equation, entire entire conversation, really. So those are my thoughts. Now, is anything gonna happen? Is anything gonna actually happen is the main question. I don't know. 
But what I can tell you is the Cleveland Cavaliers are looking for a the best option. They're not gonna they're not gonna keep Kyrie Irving if they know Kyrie Irving isn't gonna stay. If they know LeBron James is gonna leave. Obviously, he's shown a lot of uh, disappointment within the Cleveland Cavaliers organization at Cleveland Cavaliers front office at Cleveland Cavaliers management. So that is something to very much so take into account. Now the Cleveland Cavaliers are starting to just completely crumble apart. So what do they have to do? They have to make moves. They have to get youngster draft picks, good talent. Unless they're willing to go all in for another year, then they trade for just Carmelo Anthony with the New York Knicks in a one-to-one -one deal, or they try to make a three-team deal, they get an Eric Bledsoe in return as well. That would be a very smart move if I were them. And then they lose Kevin Love and Kyrie Irving in this hypothetical scenario, but at least they'd have Carmelo Anthony LeBron James. That's an interesting one to punch, especially in the much, much weaker Eastern Conference. Because once again, anything is possible in the Eastern Conference. Without any further ado, that does it for me. If you haven't yet, make sure to drop a big thumbs up on this video. I went through this rapid fire. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed. Without any further ado, jump a big thumbs up, dab on him, dab on him again, and make sure to subscribe on him. See what I did there?